Hello YouTube, how are y'all doing? Helsting here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the RGM-79GM from the original Gundam series. Uh, I've had this kit for a while. Well, not for a while, but for a little while. And I did the unboxing, I'm doing the review. I kind of missed some things in the unboxing. I wasn't adding to this video, but it'd be kind of out of place when I start adding them to the other video, so, videos, so I'm not going to add it in this one. Anyway. We're going to go ahead and pretty much go into what you get with the kit, and then we'll go into articulation. First thing you get is your little gun. It goes in the hand. It goes in there quite good. There's no pegs or anything like that, but, I mean, it's not going nowhere. Um, the main problem with these these um, kits, though, is these covers will pop off very easily. So I would suggest when you get the gun in, you glue it. When you put the, uh, these hands on together, you might want to glue them, too, because they'll pop off when you're trying to put the sword and the shield on and off. But uh, you get the gun, you get the beam saber, and you get the shield. Uh, the shield comes with this part for the hand. We'll get into all that a little bit later. And I would suggest probably pop cutting that off, but we'll get into that in a little bit. Anyway, we'll go ahead and start off with the articulation. Not very much. I mean, it's an old kiss. There's not a lot to it, uh, you know. You can't really go up with the head any. You can go down with about that far. Uh, left or right's not really all that great either. You can go about that far to the right and about that far to the left. You can get 360 on it. The arm, you can get 360 on both arms. You can get 360 on the waist. There goes the shield, sword. 360 on the body. You come with all the thrusters and one fell off. Um, you got about a 90 degree bend in the arm, both sides. Could have been, you know, it's an old kit, so you can't expect too much out of it. I still like it, even though it's an old kit. Kind of need to do like a 2.0 of it. I really want them to do an origin GM. I want to see how they do that. The Zaki looks pretty good on there. But, um, anyway. Forge, about as much of a forge you're going to get on it, so you don't expect no kind of kneeling poses. Now, this is about as far back you can get straight back with the leg. With the bend in the leg, that's about far, and then with the foot and all that. Um, like this is an old kit, you can pretty much get a, a T pose out of it if you want to. Um, this is about much of a split you can get. That's about as close as you're going to get to the, um, you know bend over mobile suit pose that everybody likes to put through, a lot, like a lot of people like to do. Um, me personally, I'm, I've already taken this off twice, so I'm not going to do it again. But basically a little ball, like a little, um, not a ball, but like a peg, poly cap where you put a peg in. I think it would be better if they did a ball to where you can, you know, move it forward and up and all that kind of stuff. Which you can still kind of do it with this, but it probably been a whole lot better if they would have done it. I mean, the front skirt go about that far front but um uh, yeah all right and i'm gonna go ahead and pretty much get on to putting the weapons on them and all that kind of stuff it holds the sword very well for an old kit the sword's not gonna go anywhere I'm gonna pop that hand off as i showed at the beginning or if i didn't i'm sorry i should have the gun's not gonna go anywhere this is before the time of pegs, and without a peg, it's, I mean, it wobbles a little bit, but it's not going nowhere. And then you get the shield. Now, unfortunately for me, I, well, it's not unfortunate, I mean, it actually came out to be the betterment of it, is I broke the pegs off in this. But you got this plastic piece into this poly cap right here, so that it keeps it on there. And it gives a good connection to the shield, to where the shield is not going nowhere. So you're fine. But also it would have been, it's kind of like the betterment to it too also because it's easier to put the shield in the hand and put this into the arm. So it's a little bit easier off the shield in your way. But we'll go ahead and bam. Now there's a little bit of articulation in the, you know, in this. It went better. But for what it is, it's all right. Can't really do too much with it. You can, you know, give it a 
nice little sideways pose with it in the hand. But to me, it's kind of better without it being in the hand. So you kind of might want to cut that part off or leave it on there if you like it the way it is with it on there. But this way, though, you can have it, you know, sideways and all that kind of stuff without it being in the hand. But, uh, yep. Yeah. I think that's about it for this video. There's not really much to say about it. It's an old kit. Gave you some screenshots. Before we get to the end of the video, give you like a comparison to the GM2. So the GM2 is a little bit taller. They're about the same, really. And when you get the GM2, you do get parts to make the GM1. Only problem is, is these are white. But the only thing you get that's from the GM1 would be the front skirt, and that's about it. I also have the 2.0. I'm planning on doing an unboxing and review on that someday soon. Uh, it's kind of just a talk now. Um, my next kits, well, my next few kits for unboxing and review is the New Zeal, I think that's how you say it, and the Nemo. Got the unboxings done for those. I'm going to do the reviews for those. And then my next unboxings after those is going to be the RX 78 3 Gundam. Uh, version 2.0 The GM3 and the Gundam Virtue uh, The Gundam Virtue I got at a Comic Con of last year And I find just now I'm starting to get around to building it uh, This year at the Comic Con Which is this Saturday I was kind of sick I was going to try to do a video Sunday Do the review and then have it up for Sunday Because I know on Sunday you really don't get Nobody putting up any videos on Sunday But I got really bad sick And I was supposed to work yesterday also at my real job but like I said you got sick and all that kind of stuff I, mean, I got sick and all that kind of stuff but at that Comic Con I got the uh, Sazubi Verka I wasn't going to get the Impulse Gundam 2 but decided against it to be honest with you, I wasn't even going to get the Verka but uh but I did it anyway it might not be at the next review I kind of put in a randomizer on my phone and I press it and Pick four kits because I have four high grades and four math. Well, I got like eight actually around about. You know, anyway, in the randomizer, I randomized my master grades, put those down to four options. Then I uh, randomized my high grades, put that down to four options. Sorry about that. And then I randomized it and all that kind of stuff. I get three kits to work on for my next reviews. I'll work on three kits a week. So that way I don't get bored with one kit. or So that way I also have some more content and things like that. But anyway. I know I've been rambling on for a while now. And there's not really much else to say about this kit. Uh, if I missed anything let me know. Uh, I'm still, as you can tell, I only got 20, 26, 25 episodes. 25 videos on my channel. So I'm originally gaming. I was going to do originally gaming and then unboxing with secondary thing. But this got more views than my gameplays, so I'm going to do this. Now, I do have another channel I'm starting on for that, but I don't have time for both of them. So one's not going to get as much time as the other. This one, I'm going to give more time than the gaming channel. But uh, anyway, that's about it for this review. If you liked it, leave a like, subscribe, all that nice stuff. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter. Uh, I'll post on there what kit's going to be the next one to get reviewed and all that kind of stuff. And uh, I guess that's about it. As always, thanks for watching. Hellstings signing out.